God, this is. I was trying to read this, and then I suddenly realized the English is not so good. Doctor Bright, according to most tales, a man with immortality wishing for a way out so that he can pass on. However, through his wish to return to normality, he has taken a vital role in Foundation workings thanks to his immortality and ability to work forever for the Foundation. Doctor Bright, according to dank memes from Site 19, I am the god of destruction. Yeah, that is very much accurate. Whenever I write tales with Dr. Bright, I usually have some sort of a mix between the two. Like, the idea in my head has always been that Dr. Bright is indeed, like, wanting to die, but also having some fun along the way, because if nothing you do matters, then everything you do matters, sort of thing. Anyway, when you think your joke was fire, but a cherry tomato <laughs> seems to be flying at Mach 15 directly at you. <laughs> Scared hamster face. I, uh... <laughs> I don't, I don't know, you know, I never was a big fan of the Critical Tomatoes, but uh, I did write a, <laughs> write an episode for the Forlorn, or write a script for the Forlorn Foundry guys based around it. So I got to become somewhat intimately familiar with the article. <laughs> it's not that great of an article, but you know, it works. When you thought it was just a simple cold, but a guy in a suit appears next to you and offers you a cigarette. Yeah. I don't know. I, again, man, a lot of, a lot of dank memes from Site-19. <laughs> are referencing SCPs that I'm not a super huge fan of. I, I, I did a reading of this for my channel, but uh, I don't know. It just seems too simplistic to me, and which, which is fine. I don't mind simplistic articles, but uh, it's just not for me. When you're male and you touch one of SCP-2396's candies, he's sweet like a sugar-coated candy man. I'll tell you two things about this uh, meme that really struck me as important. One, uh, I had to go and look up which one SCP-2396 was. I had a feeling it was Mrs. Sweetie, but I wanted to double check and make sure. Uh, Mrs. Sweetie is not an article that I'm a particularly big fan of, but you know what I am a big fan of? That music video with Christina Aguilera. Moving on. The first guy that tried SCP-1230 after waking up. Reality is poison. I don't want to go back. I hate this. A Rick and Morty meme. Now that is uh, mixing Rick and Morty and the SCP Foundation seems like such an obvious thing to do, but so few people have done it. Uh, but yeah, the SCP-1230. Uh, <laughs> I mean, what would you do if you live an entire lifetime inside a fictional landscape that's built to cater to your every whim? Uh, act like things are not true level, I suppose. Ah yes, the Bright memes. Bright's everywhere. Jack Bright, also Jack Bright, yet another Jack Bright, a Jack Bright possessing 096. Yeah, <sighs> why? You know what? The real question becomes at this point: Why bother with containing anything? Just put Jack Bright's necklace around it uh, for 30 days, and you're fine. That, that 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 SCP is now contained because now it works for the Foundation. Yeah, that'll, that's perfect. Doctor Dan, they won't execute 096, despite it being one of the most dangerous things we have locked up. What if I get someone to take a really far away picture of it? Send that picture out to a local town in the area, and then O5 will have to acknowledge how dangerous it is and have it designated for termination. Oh yeah, it's all coming together. Yeah, uh, this is a good example of uh, intricately laid, like, how does anyone create this plan and think it's going to work? There are so many simpler ways to do this that don't involve this amount of prep work that if we that it really stretches credulity on the article. But I digress. SCP author, redacts locations and dates. The Postman. M what? Yeah, not just the Postman. Pretty much every, every SCP reader as well. Nobody. Lazy SCP articles. Hey, remember when? Removed. <laughs> yes, yes, more hate on the... <laughs> more hate on censorship. Uh, at least everyone matches up to what I believe here. And those are the only people who will find a voice on my channel, I'll tell you that right <laughs> Anyone who disagrees with me doesn't exist as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> That's not true. That's sort of true. SCP Foundation, we have contained most, if not all, biblical characters. Jesus, who is still not an SCP. Hmm? You know, maybe SCP, maybe Jesus is an SCP. There's a lot of immortal SCPs out there. Maybe one of them was Jesus at some point. There is no Easter Bunny, there is no Tooth Fairy, and there is no monthly termination of D-Class. Yes, this is entirely accurate. 
you know what I find particularly interesting about this though, is that uh, it's using a meme from Megamind. I want to make a point here. Megamind is a very good movie that more people should watch. That's all I want to say. Will Ferrell does not get enough credit for some of his movies. It's this one and Stranger Than Fiction, which just didn't do very well. And people were like, oh, well, that's a Will Ferrell movie or, you know, that's a Will Ferrell. No, watch those movies. They're very good. Getting a little off topic here. <laughs> 2521 wasn't dangerous before the Foundation classified it as an SCP. And that's a fact. No, I don't think that's true. I think it was dangerous before, and it's going to be dangerous afterwards. Oh, speaking of... <laughs> you know, I've seen a few versions of this one. <laughs> Babe, come over. I can't. I'm in containment. Shows a picture. <laughs> Me escapes containment. <laughs> I have seen a few uh, versions of this with SCP-2521, so I really... Uh... You know, I remember when this was being written, I actually looked at it as a draft. I had no idea when I was looking at it as a draft that it would somehow become, the, what, the third or fourth, maybe even second most popular article on the site. I'm not looking at the list right now, but damn. When 055 posts a medic hazard in the meme chat room. Unbelievable. And then everyone else disconnects. Yes, that would be the correct thing to do. I'm not entirely sure... When you say memetic hazard, you're not really describing what the memetic hazard is. Is it dangerous or is it just one that makes you, I don't know, hit yourself in the head once and then that's it. The memetic hazards are a wide range of, it doesn't really matter. 682, SCP writers, you are my favorite subject. Yeah, I don't know. I think this one's, I think this one misses the mark. Because, like, there's not that many articles written about 682 and especially not these days. Like... Even in back in the day, it was maybe it was popular, but it wasn't super popular. You know what's interesting? Steeped though I am in lore of the SCP Foundation, this must be a newer GOI that I'm unfamiliar with. But there are no gods. Then a big listing here looks like uh, Broken God, Fifthest Church. I think the Horizon Initiatives in there somewhere. The Sarkics, a couple others that I'm not entirely sure I recognize their logos. Worship the gods. Contain the gods, which is the SCP Foundation, and then the GOC. Kill the gods. You know, they're missing the uh, even bigger brained option, which is MC and D. Sell the gods. I feel like I feel like they missed their chance there. Oh well. You know, every time I see an ion battery, this is exactly what I think. <laughs> Grand Carcist Ion Battery 3.7 volts. Yep. Yeah, that's in my head. Yeah, that's the, the, the that's supposed to be the compromise. Let's get the broken god and the and the carcass together with ion batteries. This is not a site. I think this is from what site five. There's some sort of a meme going around about this. I don't know which SCP this is in reference to, but I know which piece of art it's in reference to. That this is not a pipe thing, which would be impossible for most people not to be familiar with that. It's not a huge deal to be like, oh, I know which the art piece this is from. It's one of the most popular 20, 20th century pieces of art, but um, I just thought this was particularly interesting. This is not a site, <laughs> which it isn't. It's a picture of a site. Mm -hmm. You versus the mailbox, she tells you not to worry about. Oh, uh, the jealous mailbox, the toxic, ma toxically masculine, obsessive mailbox, the nice guy mailbox, the fedora hat tipping mailbox versus just the bad guy. You know what? This is the thing. This is the thing. You want to know something interesting? You versus the guy she tells you not to worry about? You're just like the guy she tells you not to worry about, except you try to pretend you're not. And he's comfortable being a douchebag. When instead of killing all other realities to save your own, you kill your own to save other realities. <laughs> 05-3. See? I pulled a snaky on you. That seems fair. You know, I saw this one and it bothered me because it says you can't become a fully fledged GOI with a hub and everything in just a few weeks. The Parawatch Wiki. Hold my tin. Nobody said that. No one has ever said that. In fact, I'm sure there are other GOIs that have done the exact same thing. You just got to get people interested in your stuff and then create the thing. No one said this. I saw this in chat too. Like somebody, one of, I think it was one of the creators of the Parawatch. Like I think it was one of the writers who wrote something for it. Was like, uh huh, you can't. They said we couldn't create it. No one said. If anyone said that, they were just messing with you or wrong. No one legitimately should ever think that you can create anything on the SCB Wiki because all you need are people. Convince two of their guys to write some articles, and bam, you're done. <laughs> the fuck? It's not that hard. 
Trust me, as someone who has created cannons before, the only reason this, some of these things take longer is because the people who are in the middle of creating them are trying to be more or less careful. But if you're confident that your stuff is good, you don't need to wait. This one irritated me. I, yes, I included a meme that irritated me. Deal with it. The first person to see the Barham and Langford McMahon kill agent must have been like, well, yeah, I, I guess that's true. This seems like kind of a lazy meme, actually. <laughs> no one, joke. I. It's always great seeing one of my own articles as a meme. <laughs> no one, joke. SCPs. SCP-001. SCP-001-J evading creditors in a 1990 Toyota Corolla by fleeing into space. The automobile has since been repossessed. I think, I want to say Cactus wrote most of this particular joke. Like, not the actual total article, but he wrote most of this individual joke for the image. Because uh, he's definitely one who created the image in the first place. I don't remember how much of the tagline, I think he created the image. I don't know how much of the tagline was him and how much of it was me. I guess it doesn't really matter. It's, it was a long time ago and it's a very successful article. <laughs> Yeah, jokes the SCPs are ridiculous sometimes. Deal with it. You know, this is another one where I'm not even particularly familiar with the... I mean, I know of the article that it's referencing, but I don't know it. I've never read it. Hey man, what you reading? Just the latest Garfield strip. What a load of crap. W w wait, didn't that science dude warn us about insulting that cat? What the hell are you talking about? Ack. Poof. Mondays! <laughs> it just doesn't... Just says Monday, actually, not Mondays. You'd think it would have said Mondays. <laughs> Maybe the article has something specific about that, but yeah. Uh, apparently, uh, Garfield shows up in a suit. No, wait, that's not a suit. That's just the way the image is created. And yeah, but apparently Garfield just shows up and punches you in the face. That seems fair. Dr. Oleski coming up with his plan to get the OFA <laughs> canceled to start. Yeah, this is big brain time. Ah... <laughs> uh... Yeah, it, as a plan, I think we talked about this earlier. As a plan, not the best plan. Me bypassing the medic kill agent, <laughs> just blink. Just, I think the uh, the title of this one was like the title of the actual post was something along the lines of, "Just close your eyes and scroll down, guys. It's not that hard." It's true. It's not. <laughs> Why don't you just do that? Anyway, that's this episode. If you liked it please hit the subscribe button. Scroll down, hit the subscribe button. I don't know why, but recently uh, YouTube's been trying to tell me that people are watching my videos but not subscribing, and that that's bad, and I'm supposed to encourage you more to subscribe, although I, don't, I asked you to every video, so I don't really know what the difference is. But uh, yeah, scroll down and be sure to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. If you're new to the channel, uh, that's what you should do. <laughs> And then hit the notification bell next to that, so you're notified whenever a new video comes out. And definitely head on over to patreon.com forward slash dsumerian. There'll be a link in the description and in the pinned comment. So go to Patreon and pledge at any level like everybody on the screen here has. And join this collection of people who help make sure this content keeps going out to you. I appreciate it more than you can know. It's nice to know that I'm not alone out here and... I'll see you all again on Thursday.